Oh my gosh, did I ever tell you guys it's a lot of work setting these live streams up? Holy schmoly. How's it going, guys? Lucario95, what's up, man? He says, ah, yes, mister, my YouTube game, everyone should buy a spot. It's almost done. Yeah, sorry for waiting so long, guys. Uh, I was really conflicted on how to price the shiny stars. Uh, we're starting with the high price. If nobody buys them, I'll lower the price. Also, there's going to be a shiny star game. Give me a moment. What's up, Alex? Oops, put this over here. Shiny. So we're going to have a shiny star game. It's for 20 packs. I'm sorry, not 20 packs. <laughs> it's for $20. And there's going to be six winners, and each winner will get five packs. I think I, I, think I did that right. And there'll be 36 spots to play. What's going on, guys? We're going to have our daytime stream. It's going to be two hours long. And then a uh, three-hour stream at night. Right? That's what we were doing. I've been working on shipping all day. I didn't get my mail time video made. I should have done that, but I couldn't because I was so focused. We had a wild stream last night. I stayed up a little later than I wanted to. So hopefully tonight I'm not too tired. But I can't be tired because we got a shiny star now. We got to be up. We got to be opening them. Okay, so the shiny star game has begun. That's right. There's a lot of custom games. I'm sure that one will be a very high interest. And, uh, no, I did not clean my book pile, so I still got the same book pile. I don't know what's going to happen. I cleared up a little spot right there. We might be putting book over there. Last night, we had Sam in the stream. We had Fraser K. I think he goes by Frey K. Look, he wanted to open up some XY Evolutions. He actually opened all my XY Evolutions. I've got some on the way. And then Fortnite Focus came in, and he opened up uh, some vintage packs, some really expensive ones. Rocket, Jungle, and Japanese Sky Ridge First Edition. If you didn't watch that, go back and watch it because it's pretty amazing. That was in the previous live stream last night. Actually, I ought to make a, I ought to make a video on it because that Crobat's very cool. Mister, you got any shiny star asking for a friend? You got any shiny star? <laughs> Mister. Yeah, I did a lot of shipping, and somehow these shipping boxes are still so full. There must be many people who have not even made a request yet. And Justin Bieber came too. No, he did not. You're teasing me. He says, you also had Vice President Pokistan Noah in the stream. All right, we got Noah. Nice. Should I sneak a shiny star pack? Mister, do you make a profit off of this? Yes, yes, I do. This is my main income, okay? How's the small doing? Very close. Just about over. You should ban anyone who asks for Shiny Star V in chat. Is the Zard PSA 6 from last stream? Here, let me get on live chat. Give me a moment. All right, we're on live chat. Was planning on buying some Evo last night, but YouTube stars had other plans. They bought out all my XY. All right, let's go ahead and log back in. It's not true. I have some sealed XY evolution, but... Uh, oh, you know what we should do? The... I have XY Breakthrough. I forgot about that. Where did I place the Breakthrough? Oh, here it is. So I had to go back on and buy another box of these because I didn't mean to open the box I have. But you know what? We'll probably make a custom game for these. I don't want to sell them one at a time. I don't want to sell them one at a time because I don't want the box to be searched. I only have the one box. All right, let's jump to activity and see what people want. Hey, mister, what's your music genre of choice? Uh, pretty much just one genre. Nine Inch Nails, and that's it. Hey, mister, are you going to? Are you getting Shiny Star V? Yes, I did. I'm buying a mountain bike. What? Do you have an Evolutions box on the standing table? I think I do. But it's... it's oh, oh, I see what you're saying. A loose box of Evolutions. Hold on. I do. I do have a box of Evolutions. Okay. Give me a moment. We can actually use that. That was very clever of you to point out. Okay, so... XY Evolutions. It's back. Let me go add it to the description. All right. XY Evolutions is back in the description. Perfect. I did not even think to check there. See, that's good because that doesn't require me to open up a fresh case, which is what I'm avoiding. I'm going to save my cases at this point because... 
I think cases deserve a premium. Of course, this box is a really nice box because it came out of a fresh case. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Okay, so XY Evolutions is back. Set that over there. Oh, man. I'm running over these. I'm not supposed to run over these little... So I use these little boxes. I ran over that one. It's all squished. Oops. Okay, let's see what's going on. I'm sure people are already jumping into the PayPal's because they are anxious to open some shiny store. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so I was checking. I was checking last night to make sure that somebody didn't come in at the very last second. We're starting out with Marco. Really, Marco's buying another ten of Hidden Fates. Man, you got the deep pockets, Marco. Let me go get a 10 for you. I'll be right back. You're just cleaning us out. I think he wants to pull a Charizard in the live stream. Right, Kitty? He wants that Charizard. Okay, we got Hidden Fates. Fresh case, fresh tin. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we need to add more emojis for the members. We gotta get more emojis. Here it is, woohoo! Good luck, Marco, you ready? So Marco's had pretty fantastic luck. We'll see if it continues. If it doesn't, uh, I suppose it'll be a end to his streak, but he's done pretty good overall. We want political entertainment. All right, guys, time to talk politics. In Pakistan, I say we shouldn't keep printing Charizards. We'll have Charizard inflation. He says no. <laughs> Pepe is evil. Damn, dude. First pack, Raichu GX and bon Art, Bonnet Full Art. Let's go ahead and put this here. Bonnet. Let's see what's next. He goes Brit. <laughs> next pack. Three, four. Misty's Cerulean City Gym. All right, hold on. Let me adjust these little boxes. This needs to go over here. Keemstar's opening Pokemon? Man, that's not allowed. Lieutenant Surge. White back for days. That's right. How do I get a full art mister? Um, you just got to pray to the pokey gods for it. Nice. Picking up a shiny guzzlord as well. I think once again, the tin's actually pretty decent. He gets a shiny, a full art, and a GX. No Charizard though. Where's that Charizard? Charizard. So we'll put this stack over here. Hopefully that doesn't fall over. Let's find your bag. You're up top, Marco. I sent an email to Nintendo so that you can get your own Pokemon cards. Oh, nice. Let's see what's next. It's Ryan Felsted. One tiny star V, I have a bag. All right. And now it begins. He says, no, I'm PewDiePie. There it is. That's what they look like. What do you think about the codes in here? What are they only are they strictly Japanese codes? Like should we All right, let's see what we got. Are they strictly for Japanese? Sneep. Codes are for sword and shield game. The game? What does that even mean? Like here it is, guys. Here's the code. I see a Marshadow, a Volcanion, and a Genesect. What is it supposed to do? Okay, here we go. He says blue back. So, oh, damn, look at that. Right off the bat, look at this wheezing. <laughs> it 
Same as Zenta. That's full art. Dragapult. Okay, cool. So I like the Weezing a lot, actually. I'm a fan of Weezing. If you guys didn't know that, because it's a it's a Team Rocket Pokemon, right? Weezing is. I only paid for the Lucario Mewtwo spot, but you put me. You put me in the large. Really? So are you saying that you got a spot in the large that you're not supposed to have and that you would like me to take you back out of the large? Woohoo! Very nice of you, Lumberjack. He says, no, it's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see. Um, Ryan Fielston. Ryan Fielston. Odd non PMP. Here we are. Welcome back, Ryan. Okay, place this over here. He says, but put me in the Lucario. Gotcha. Okay, so I put you in the wrong one. That's what you're saying? Gotcha. Okay. Now I understand. There you go, mister. Wow, 11 minutes in, 200 viewers. People are ready for those shiny star Vs, man. People are excited. Let's see what's next. So we got a message on the Streamlabs, a donation message. Let's go ahead and refresh this. I saw the shiny Charizard VMAX selling for 300 Not too bad. How much is a box? Like the stream. Let's see. We're going to run over here to the messages. Here we are. And it's Lucario95. Mister, you got any shiny star asking for a friend? You got any shiny stars yet? <laughs> awesome cameras here. I'll try out a shiny star V and throw in a little extra for the PayPal fee. Oh, wow. That was really nice of you, man. Let's see what we got. Sneep. Mr. Where's Kitty? Is she safe? Is she all right? Uh, she's not sitting on the printer like she normally would. I, I ran out of labels, so I'm using the regular paper printer. Yeah. So she's on the couch. We could get the camera and show her. She's over there all comfy. So I'm seeing some kind of full art. I don't even recognize this character. Who the heck is that? Lapras? Yamper? So you got a full art. Very nice, man. Full art and a GX. It's Piers. This is Piers? What, like young Piers? Young peers, huh? That's peers, one of the gym leaders. I don't remember him looking like that. So where's Kitty? Yeah, Kitty's sitting on the couch. Okay, and that was for awesome cameras. Let's go find his bag. How's the back? Oh, how's my back? No pain today at all. Although last night, by the end of the live stream, there was like back pain. So it's kind of an interesting thing. I've been doing real good, real consistent with working out and uh, just getting healthier. But most importantly, working out. I'm trying to build some muscle. Okay, up next we have Elliot Clark, one pack of shiny, shiny star. And of course, most importantly, also not just working out, but reducing the amount of time that I sit. Elliot Clark wants one pack. You ready? Sneep. Oh, my dear Lord. Another code. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about these code cards. Oh, shit. Is this the card? Did it give them a code for that Pokemon? All right. We've given out three codes now. We probably won't hand out any more codes after that. Ooh, it's Rodom. Damn, that looks cool as hell. And there's Rillaboom. Wow, he almost looks textured, but he's not. He says, I just saw the shiny booster box. What? Yeah, honestly, if you think the shiny star booster price I have is high, uh, what I remember is with Hidden Fates, the price started pretty low and then psh, it exploded. So I don't know. Two weeks from now, am I going to regret selling it at the price I'm selling it at now? I have no clue. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Threw in a little extra for the PayPal fee. Because if the price was going to move up without me having to do anything, then I don't have an incentive to sell. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense to people. Here you go, awesome cameras. With the shiny... Is it a shiny Rotom? It looks shiny. J 
Just think of it like this. You're, uh, wait, what did we just do? That was for, I'm sorry, that was for Awesome Camera. That was, I'm sorry, not Awesome Camera. That was for Elliot Clark. I apologize about that. <laughs> I, I was a little distracted. I, I realized we put it in the wrong bag because we had just served him. All right, Elliot, let's find your bag. Elliot Clark, here you go, mister. Oh, you have this ultra rare big parasol. By the way, what does the S stand for? I guess it's a secret rare. And that's a regular rare? I don't know what that means. All right, guys, I just want to mention no advertising, okay? No advertising. All right, here we go. Next up, we have Blastoise Buddy. Good luck, Blastoise Buddy. Sneep. Whew. Oh, right, so this code card, how does this actually work? It is a different Pokemon, so interesting. I do not know what to think of that. Oh, nice. Look at this full art shiny bull tunt. Wow, very cool. If we hit 500 viewers tonight, we're doing it. That's a shiny full art. It reminds me a lot of Hidden Fates. And that was for Blastoise Buddy, huh? All right. Blastoise Buddy with the B. Mister, you heard of God Packs? Yeah, we've opened one, actually. Yeah, we've opened a God Pack from the other set, remember? The um, All-Star set. Adam Smith, Keeksters, Albert, Big T, Cirque Fan, Asian Tim, Brian Locke, Brian Fugman, Blastoise Buddy. Mister, you and Biden have one thing in common. You both love to raise taxes. That's right. They call me the tax man. Shiny Star V is Hidden Face 2.0, so it should remind you of Hidden Face. Next up, we have is Jonas Rosada, and he wants two packs of Shiny Star. You got it. Two packs. He says, hi, Dad. What's up, Supreme? Sneep. Oops. Hey, mister, did you run the... Run the small yet? Nope, but it's getting very close. What the hell? I've never seen that before. That code card had a Pokemon I didn't recognize. Okay, so this one just has a Turnitus V in it. This is very much reminding me of Tag Team All-Stars. Oh, snap, we just gave that away. So that was Eevee. I have no clue what those codes do. Copperaja and Cramorant. All right. So Eternatus and Cramorant from those two packs. Fwee Pokemons. Hey, mister. Was, that was for Shiny Star V game. Not just one pack, says Blastoise Buddy. Oh, well, that's my Bolton now. <laughs> Blastoise Buddy, I was giving you the best card. All right. Sounds good, mister. Mister, promote your Twitch. So I created a Twitch account. I created a Twitch account, but, um, huh, that's so weird. So, I pulled one of these. I pulled one of these out of three packs this morning on TikTok, and, and then I stopped opening. This looks very different from that. So, are they, they're the same rarity. Weird. I don't know what to think of that. Blastoise Buddy going into the Shiny Star V game. Here you go, mister. Hope you win. And this was for Rosada, right? Hold on, let me log back in. So the next release is February. Where did you buy Shiny Star? SSR, Shiny Secret Rare. One is V and the other is V Max. Oh, very interesting. Is that the difference? Do you have any shirt Shiny Star for sale? Yes, we do. Yeah, we have some Shiny Stars. Oh, my dear Lord. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough. So Jonas... Let's see if you have a bag already, Jonas. Blastoise Buddy says, Thank you, mister. It wouldn't have been fair since I didn't pay for a whole bag. 
Aw, oh, thank you so much, Blastoise buddy, for being honest. Jonas! Logan, Luxury, Jack Lit, Jake Hill, Kays, Jaco, Josiah, JTF. I'm looking for Jonas. What content do I do on Twitch? I currently do no content on Twitch. Uh, I created a Twitch account so that I can one day restream this stream onto Twitch so we can have it in both places because I think that's what you're, you're meant to do, really. We'll do a restream eventually. Here we go, Jonas. I wonder if I could hire somebody. I couldn't pay very much, though. I wonder if somebody would uh, help me restream it and what that would entail. I need, like, children or something who I can hire. <laughs> okay, Jonas, you have a fresh bag. Mahasbara, he says, cut a shiny pack. Fool? All right. We're cutting a pack for Mahasbara. Are you ready? Hmm. Just wondering how easy these open. Hi, mister. What's up, super dork dude? All right, this is from Mahasvara for our entertainment. He is asking me to slice a pack. Not going to reveal the code. Let's see, what do we need to do? Well, we need to flip this around. And it's probably these cards right here. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, so the rest are bulk. I don't want to cut everything and duel the scissors. That's why I do that. It's just the valuable cards that we care about. There it goes. Please be a Charizard. This has got to be Charizard. Don't you guys think? Definitely Charizard energy here. What do we get? Well. Oh, this is like a reverse hollow, huh? Oh, this last card is a reverse hollow. It looks like we cut Gang. Oh, that's a cute Gengar, dude. Eldegoss. And I think that's a reverse hollow card. So weird. I just noticed that it has a different hollow than the other cards. Huh. So these packs have reverse hollows. He says, what are you doing? He says, good pack to cut. Rippy, a missed pack. Let's cut more, mister. It's Matt Pesky. He says, one of the small, one round of unbroken bonds, one team up. All right. He says, heck no to shiny star. He says, let's open some other Pokemons. So, oops. We really are very close to the end of the small. This is going to be Matt Pesky right here. On 36. And then next we're going to get him one round of unbroken bonds, which I have to go get. Be right back. One round of unbroken bondage. All right, we got our unbroken bonds. You know, the thing is, we've been expanding the menu. And as the menu expands, it's actually really hard to have all these items right next to me. Like, where where am I going to store them? You know what I mean? Okay, we got Unbroken Bondage. And Team Up. Woohoo! Did he say one Team Up? Yeah, one Team Up. One Team Up, the one that contains the Snorlax Eevee, right? That's the one I'd ask for. Did you get my order? How's it going, Ryan? Uh, we opened up one order for you earlier of Shiny Star. Is that what you're referring to? That was earlier, okay? If you did another order, I haven't gotten to it yet. Here it goes. Sneep. Sneep. Mister, can we do next person to buy a spot and my game gets one free? Uh... I, I couldn't do that unless you were willing to accept a lower payment on that on that card. So if you were giving up a spot yourself is what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Because remember, after it sells, I have to go pay you. So this is for Matt Pesky. Good luck, Matt Pesky. Unsub unless we cut more packs. What's up, Hollow Bleed? We got Ekans. He's ripping people off. Bitch! You coming in here talking smack on me? All right. I don't have to sell them at all. Did you know that? 
I'm pretty sure with the Shiny Star V packs, all I have to do is buy them and hold them. So, I don't know. To people who are mad that I make a profit on selling the packs, I would say I, I do a service. Okay, so I do come here and I live stream and I open the packs for you and I ship the packs for you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you've heard that spiel a, long, a bunch of times. Uh, I would say this. Consider it supporting the channel. If you don't want to support the channel, don't support the channel. Go do something else, right? Go do something else with your time, mister. We got Lucario Mel Metal. Ooh, and last pack, that's a green back. You need a Blastoise or a Charizard to come out of this green pack. Let's see what you get. Ah, it's an alone golem. No luck. It, yeah, it's support, it's convenience. When you buy, like, um, when you order stuff from DoorDash, my wife and I do DoorDash all the time. We're always surprised at the final cost of the, the DoorDash meal because, you know, you'll buy, like, a $15 meal, and it costs, like, 30 bucks by the time you're done paying the fee and the tip. Uh, but then at the same time, we just come right back and we ordered more uh, because, frankly, we like the convenience. So, you know, it's, I don't know. If, you, if you're really mad, just don't do it. Go to your Walmart and get some Pokemon cards. Next up, we have... Wait, we got to put this in the Matt Pesky's bag first. <laughs> he says, do it, mister. One free spot won't hurt. Just want it to finish now. I need my car repaired. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, the... Oh, but this is hard to do without Streamlabs. Lucario, this is hard to do without Streamlabs. Hmm... Actually, it's not hard. I see who ordered last was the Gimp. So it's going to be the next third person to buy a spot in the MewTube game gets a spot for free. The next third person to buy a spot gets one for free. So the first person will not get it. The second person will not get it. The third person who buys a spot in this game will get a spot for free. Okay? There you go, Mr. Mr. Matt Pesky. Nick, Mikey Wynn, Mikey TV, Mike Spaninator, Michael White, Noah, it's Noah, New Gen, Mahasvara, Mahasvara, you got a bag, mister. Okay, toss this over here. You must be up top, Matt Pesky. You already knew, but here it is, Matt Pesky. Woohoo! So we're done with Matt Pesky, and now it's Sadud's turn. He says, I'll take 17 on the Shiny Star game. Yes, it is. It's probably still available. He says, if it's available. Mahasvara says, still waiting for that PSA sub to come back. Dude, isn't it insane? What the hell? i give you an update on it sometime if you want. Maybe if the stream slows down, although today it's probably not going to slow down. Um, that's crazy, dude. What's up, Axel? It's Miss Dinklebot. What's going on? I miss Dinklebot. Give me a shiny star V. If it's cold, I demand a refund. <laughs> I demand a recount. Here we go. Pokey send the tag. Pokey boss. All right, here we go. Sneep. Who's advertising? Actually, how do I? Oh, man, this is so... Here it is. All right, there we go. All right, I missed Dinklebot. You ready? Two, three, four. Okay, so this pack is just the Dragapult V, huh? To the Gulag. And what's up with this energy? So this would be your reverse hollow. I don't think these are actually gonna be that valuable. I think this will be like a regular reverse hollow. So I'm just looking through the bulk for gradable cards, right? Cause that's what I send to you guys are the cards that I think are gradable. I miss Dinklebot. Let me go ahead and grab your bag. By the way, guys, if you have a book box with me, be sure to let me know so I can get you all of your, uh, so that I can get you all of your bulk. All right, here we go. I miss Dinklebot.
Come on, I want to see a god pack. Mom! <laughs> How's it going, Snorlax? Did you just take his energy because you don't have one yet? No, I consider it bulk. So we got a bunch of bulk cards already. These are all bulk. These just go into a big stack to the side. I don't ship bulk unless you have live shipping or a bulk box. If you expect to open a lot of packs with me, I actually recommend picking up a bulk box so I can give you all your bulk. Okay, let's see. Next up, we have Vented Crimson. How's it going, Vented Crimson? Welcome back, man. How's my day? My day's pretty good. Been working all day. All day. I'm cute. What? Don't tell Quip. She's gonna get mad. She'll be like, you better stay away. Pow. What do we got here? Okay, the Lapras Fuller, huh? Lapras VMAX Full Art. I guess if I see a really cool reverse hollow, I'll toss it to you. Uh, one that you might consider grading. I don't know if you... Ooh, that's got a big line in the middle. Look at that. Do you see that? Right in the middle. Huh. The card is so glossy that you actually can leave a, a fingerprint on it briefly. Very interesting. All right. So that was for Vented Crimson. Let's go get your bag, Vented Crimson. Here we are. Print lines and the Japanese cards. So strange. That one wasn't even in the hollow foil. It was a it was a very different looking kind of print line. Next up we have is Isaac. He says custom large test tube Mewtwo. Okay, so Isaac was the first one. Isaac Aldoretta. There you go, Isaac. So two more to go fury tv what's going on fury tv welcome back man he wants to go eight packs deep with the xy evos three four five six seven eight what's up pogo dad fury tv you ready mister mister no bag i think so let's do a new one sounds good sleep How is that Team Rocket pack, Fury? Sneep. So are there any late night streams? Yeah, so I've been doing late night streams every night. And on the weekdays, I will do, I will try to do a daytime stream. So I've been doing both because I'm crazy. Getting all my work done. Here we go. You ready, mister? He's ready. Nidoran. Nidoran Beedrill, huh? Pack number two. Oh, there's Flying Pikachu. There's a Charmeleon Reverse Hollow. Got that Flying Pikachu while he's sitting on top. Mister, do you want me to tag you on Team Rocket Return Sales on Instagram? Uh, you don't need to do that. That's okay. I appreciate it, though. Two, three. I don't always have much money for... Ooh, there's a Charizard. So believe it or not, this Mega Charizard is actually going to be worth money. You can pull a 10 on that. He's worth money. He's not even the main... You know, he's not the main Charizard to pull out of this set. The Flying Pikachu. We were looking at the Flying Pikachu last night. Did you guys remember? So this card is a 10. The cheapest one is $350. Think about that for a second. Here's Farfetch'd Clefairy. I think that the price of evolutions will definitely continue to rise because the PSA cards themselves are in demand. Has a Zard been pulled from Shiny Star V yet? Uh, not yet. Mistu! What's up, man? We got Blastoise Spear Link. That's a green back. Let's see what we got here. So are you doing a stream later? Uh, yes. Uh, this is the daytime stream. We're going to have a nighttime stream. Assuming I don't fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I got terrible sleep last night. I only got like four hours. I don't know why. I think it's because I went to bed much later. Oh, there you go, mister. Mega Charizard. That's not too bad, is it, Fury TV? You picked up two Charizards and eight packs. Very nice. And... Yeah, you made money on this round. 
That's what those good boxes right out of the case get you, man. We got Nido King Break. All right, now we're looking for other secret rares. We like Pikachus. I'm not sure if I care about the bulk from this set so much. You know, I've been saving like these Pikachus to this side. You can give them to your kids, I guess. I don't, I don't actually know if I would grade them myself. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! You put me in the custom. I wanted the PSA 10 Mewtwo. Oh, I see what's going on there, Isaac. My apologies. All right. Thank you for noticing that. Isaac. You know what? It is confusing that there's two of them running, isn't it? There you go. All right. Fury TV. Picking up. Really, these are the best cards right here. Flying Pikachu, Mega Charizard, and Mega Charizard Full Art. Really nice, man. Let's get you a fresh bag. Which cards can you win in the small? That's a mystery. You'll just have to find out when the game's over. Or you'll have to go back and watch a previous live stream. All right, place this over here. All right, let me log back into the PayPal. Small might, small might off today. Get your spots, people. Let me jump into activity. Naughty, naughty. That's right, naughty, naughty. Oh, is this getting loud? Man, it's getting loud, man. Okay. So we're done with Fury TV. Very good, man. Next up, we have is Draven. That's so Draven. Wow, man, that is so Draven. Let's see what you get. They were expensive, so it makes sense. They took some time. All right, here we go. Sneep. And my grandpa music was popping off. Something like that. Oh. Hey, mister, is a Charmander from Team Rocket Unlimited worth grading? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much the whole, the entire pack is worth grading. Every single card in there. So this one's got a Crobat in it. Crobat V. Oh, <laughs> my finger missed the card. Oops. We've got... That looks like a new artwork. There's a Ditto V. All right, Ditto V, huh? That Ditto V is going to give you the smack, dude. Look at that card. Damn, Ditto, you're sexy and dangerous. So that's for Draven. Draven, let's find your back real fast. That's so Draven, Devin, Eddie, Petty, Def Hand, dude number two. Draven, did I put you up top by now? I feel like I might have put you up top, Draven. Yes, I did. Woohoo! Okay, put that away. Hello, I do not have a bag. I would like one shiny star V pack, nickname Dex. So Dex, I can't do, I can't do that nickname, it's too simple. Uh, we're going to do Dexter G, okay? All right, here we go. What's wrong with the name Dexter? Dexter is a good name. Sneep. Phase K got the hollow Charizard yesterday. That's right. How cool is that? Is it Phase K or Fraser K? What, how do I do his name? Ooh. So some of these packs contain... Oh, look at that. <laughs> is that a, a Wooloo? It comes back as a black sheep. That's way too funny. It's the black sheep in the family. Oh, that's cool, man. I like that. All right. So some of these packs have these shiny hollows. And then what else do we got? Modernization. Scorch, Santa Scorch VMAX. Which I'm guessing this is not too rare. Because every pack appears to come with that card. You know, it appears to come with a full art or V card. Uh, which really reduces the rarity of those. This appears to be an actual rare pull. So this would be one of the cards that you want to go after. Okay, and that was for Dexter. Let's get your bag, Dexter. <laughs> I love that it's a black sheep. That's so cool. Makes me want one. 
Okay, after Dexter, we have... It's DeGimp. What's up, DeGimp? He says, two shiny star, two chumps. And can I use my medium win for Champion's Path as well? You sure can. Here it is, right here. Okay. We're getting you a fresh box, DeGimp. Let's get it open. I'll pay extra for you to see a chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to see a chiropractor, a doctor, or something like that. But most importantly, I think I'm already doing the right thing by reducing the amount of time that I sit in a row. And also getting exercise, I think, was really missing from my lifestyle. I can't have that missing from my lifestyle. It's just too unhealthy. Okay. Helping me with the chiropractor, huh? <laughs> I love it. Champion's Path, these are all for you, DeGimp. One whole box, right? Because you order two of them, you get eight of them. And then two shiny star. That's a big order. You guys excited? Let's see what he pulls. Dude, even the packs are pretty. Look how pretty the packs are. That's crazy. So I think we'll start with the shiny star. Let's see what you get. Your pokey fates are right in here. Ban the five people who disliked. <laughs> We're only at 83 likes. Aw, I guess nobody likes me. Cry. Paolo says, good luck. Oh, you got something. Look, that's an amazing rare. It's the amazing rare Reshiram. I pulled one of these earlier along with the Ditto. So if you guys are following me on my TikTok channel, I opened a few packs of the uh, Shiny Star right away. Just three of them. And out of those three packs, I also pulled one of these Reshiroms. Nice. No one likes me either, mister. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Ooh, you got the Shiny Zigzagoon. And a Zacian V. Is this a different artwork? I'm loving this artwork. Very nice. Place this over here. He says, I like you, mister. 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 Oh, mister. So let, ooh, let's see what we got. Sneep. 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 I need to cut myself off. Oh, yeah. You can drain your whole bank account on Pokemon cards. And then even after it's drained, you still want more. So you got to be careful with the Pokemons. It's not a terrible addiction in the sense that at least you can try to sell back your cards someday. Uh, but it is a terrible addiction if you have... There is there is such a thing as shopping addiction. My, I know my grandma on my dad's side had that shopping addiction. So be careful, guys. Get yourself a little treat if you want a little treat. But, uh, you know, you got responsibilities. You got to think about your retirement account. Uh, and you got to just have a little safety cash sitting around for if something goes wrong. Okay, so be careful. Uh, it occurs to me that people who come here specifically to this kind of live stream might be the type of people who have a shopping addiction. So I'm, I'm warning you, be careful. All right, let's keep going. Pokemon cards are my retirement account. Well, they kind of could be. I know some of my Pokemon cards went up in price by quite a lot this year. Just depends on which ones. I think you got to be careful with which ones. Shopping addiction is because of depression. You get dopamine rush when you buy stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't even think you have to be depressed, but maybe just bored. And I get bored very easily. So buying the Pokemon cards and opening them, them up... Uh, is very enjoyable. Uh, there's nothing, here's the thing, there's nothing terribly wrong with it. You know, it's not like overeating cookies. That'll kill you, by the way. It's not like doing heroin or cocaine. So to me, it's not the worst thing you could be into. But uh, again, don't, don't shoot yourself in the foot. If you think about it in the long run, if you want to own a lot of Pokemon cards, you have to be uh, disciplined with when you spend your money and how much. You have to have some discipline. So a great example. Let's say you max out your credit card and now you're paying interest on the credit card debt. Well, the money that goes to the credit card company 
that's not a Pokemon card. So you're just losing money because you spent too much too quickly and now you're paying interest on a debt. That's a perfect example of not having enough discipline and therefore not being able to buy more cards because of it. So that's something to think about. All right, let's keep opening. DeGimp, he says, damn, I'm learning credit on the fly. That's not that complicated of an idea. Here we go, we got Sen Scorch. I haven't even got my first V Pokemon, says Anthony. Oh man. You need Biden Bucks? Where's the Biden Bucks? Dude, my wife and I might actually get money from, from Joe Biden in the form of uh, student debt relief. And we're like the last people who deserve student debt relief. And we're still gonna get it. It makes zero sense. <laughs> I, I very much oppose that. I feel like actually very poor people, people who cannot even afford to go to school, they need help. Not the people who got to go to school. You know what I mean? Hey, mister, I'm here just for you. What's up, Sticky? Take that shmoney. That's right, I'm taking the shmoney and running. Here's a fire energy. What's the best Pokemon card to buy right now in terms of value? Uh, whichever one is most underpriced. Can't you just refuse to accept it? I'm, I'm not going to refuse to accept it. I'm going to take that money and run. We got Lipard. College is a lie, mostly. Charizard. Let's see where the Charizard's at. I'm going to take the money and go, <laughs> I wouldn't have voted for it. I would have voted against it. But if you're literally going to put the money in my pocket, I'm going to take it. Here we go. I'll donate it back to you guys in the form of a Pokemon stimulus. Man, these are cold packs. They're always cold, aren't they? More money, more Pokemons. That's right. Oh, man. Typical champion's path, dude. Typical champion's path. Without college, you wouldn't have met your wife. How I met your mother. That's true. Toss this over here. Uh, I think Pokey Destiny would have brought us together anyways, though, right? <laughs> so you got these lovely two Pokemon. Actually, the Zacian V is probably gradable as well. Would I grade a Phalanx? I suppose you could. And this Charizard, I'm throwing him in too, so he's gradable. And that was for DeGimp. Let's go find DeGimp. I think you're up top now. Did I put DeGimp up top? Draven, here we are. Look at that. You got the Charizard VMAX as well. Very nice. In Pokestown, Pokemon cards are the currency. That's right. <laughs> it's Jeremy Connell. Mr. One Spot in the Medium. And don't forget Shiny Star V. Give me one of the hottest packs of Steam Siege. All right. So this is going to be for Jeremy Connell. Uh, and it's supposed to be over, but what I'm going to actually do, we're going to add spot 23 right now. And this time, instead of giving out a pack of uh, Steam Siege, we're actually going to give out a pack of Shiny Star V just for fun. Spot number 23. Just for fun. Just because I like you guys. Next up, we have, actually, I think Jeremy ordered a pack. Hold on. Jeremy ordered a pack of Steam Siege. How good is Amazing Rare Jirachi? Ooh, so good. Sneep. Is that a medium? Is that a Pokemon? Mom. Three, four. It's Mareep. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, my God. Give me a second. <laughs> Holographic High Dragon. All right. Did Sam Pepper become a member? Did he? I, I don't know if he did. He, he's chilled out with us a few times now. Twice, I think. That's pretty cool. He said he brought over uh, Freyke. Freyke? Freyke? I'm so sorry. I don't know his name. Okay, so... Jeremy, let's find your bag, Jeremy. You're a member. What? Jeremy, Jeremy. Phase K. Thank you. Phase K. Phase K. Phase K. Yeah, I think that's cool that they came over here. Yeah, sharing some of the pokey love. What's up, Paolo?
All right, I do not see a bag for him. I have a suspicion that he has a nickname and he didn't tell me what the nickname was. So now he's getting another bag. He sounds familiar. It's Jerkon, aha! How could you do this to me, Jerkon? Jerkon, is it Jerkon or Jerkon? Jer sounds a little less jerky, you know what I mean? Oh man, I'm thumbing through this again. Here we are. Woohoo! Jerk on, jerk off, jerk on, jerk off. Mister, can you give me a steamer? A steamer? I'll give you a beamer. Who's next? It's Alberto! Woohoo! Alberto finishing us off in the medium. Let's begin the games, shall we? This is for the medium, and this is for Shiny Star, which, by the way, has the same initials as Steam Siege. How cool. We need 23 packs this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay, so I thought I'd be nice and upgrade the Steam Siege, which would normally be $5.00 to one of my $24 shiny star packs. Just be nice this time. Can you say happy birthday, Streff? Happy birthday to Streff. Woohoo! I better not make this book pile shake. First time, was it good for you? It was good for me. My birthday is once a year. It's my birthday. You got any free Pokemons? Miss Boo. Okay, let's see what we got. Landing on 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Bit heavy handed with the cards, no. What? You think I'm heavy handed? Here's Nick's pack, Richard Stid, D Falco. Big T, Big T again, Lumberjack, Lumberjack again, Alberto, Alberto, Lawler, Eddie Petty, Eddie Petty on 12, picking up the box, nice Eddie Petty, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so Eddie Petty wins on 12. Okay, 13, 14, 15, Tenzenberg on 16, Nerdy Noob, Senza, Senza on 18, winning the shiny star. Was Senza not the winner of the giveaway? I don't actually remember. Did Senza win the giveaway? Okay, shiny star for Senza. Senza says, yay! Let's see what you got, mister. Rigged. It's pokey rigged. What do we got? Boss's orders. Ditto VMAX and Trubbish, huh? So the Ditto VMAX is a new card. Nice. Uh, where's my tape? Ditto. So, Eddie Petty, you just tell me what packs you want. Grab this over here. I'm going to redeem on Hidden Fate straight away. All right, sounds good. Medium's reset. He says he wants the Hibs, huh? He already knows. He's gonna snipe the Zard. Don't let him snipe it.
Oh, interesting. So this this ditto's not actually shiny. So the card I got was an actual shiny ditto. Huh, so weird. So Senza, huh? Let's get this into your bag, Senza. Here's your bag right here. That was fast. Senza with the free ditto VMAX. Congratulations. Machoke me daddy's path, that's right. Eddie Petty. Congratulations on winning that. Let's see what you get. Sneep. Sneep. A set with the Ditto in it, huh? That's kind of cool. I feel like Ditto doesn't get enough appreciation. He gets used to the game all the time for breeding. How do you know what packs come inside those tins? I'm psychic. Just like Mewtwo. Three, four... Far fetched. Hmm. Pack number two. Ah, oh, nice. We hit 130 likes. Thanks, guys. Oh, look at that. Picking up the golden Tapu Finny. Nice, man. Beautiful. Next pack. What do we got here? Ekans. Brandon Wolfenden, thanks for becoming a member. For those of you who didn't know, you can become a member for $2. We go live pretty much every... Actually, to tell you the truth, we have literally gone live every day for about half a year without missing a day. So we go live every day. You get the Pokeball next to your name, and you get exclusive Pokemon emojis, including the Spank, which is not Pokemon related, but it's still pretty good. We got Golem. Basically, it's just a nice way to put a little Pokeball emoji next to your name. What do we got here? Shiny Inke. I like this card. Very cute, actually. Wouldn't you agree? That's a pretty cute Pokemon. These are reseal packs. Was somebody saying that yesterday? I think it's just very dramatic to make a claim like that, so it's enjoyable to be dramatic, you know what I mean? So let's get this into Eddie Petty's bag. Fury TV, Elliot, Devin, Eddie Petty. Look at that. That's going to become your best card now, the Finnamore. Or the Finnamore, the Tapu Finny. Okay, let's jump over here. Loading. How I win a card. Uh, you win it, and then you spin it. Let's see, where were we? Ugis, what's up, Ugis? He says, one spot in the shiny V. You got it, mister. We got a shiny V game going. Shiny star V. Ugis. There we go. Big T's exotic. He says he wants one pack of shiny star V. All right, you ready? I don't think you can handle this. I don't think you can handle this. Instant Zared. Should I scream like a girl if we pull the Charizard? I really should. All right, here we go. Toxic Croak, Berserker. Well, it's just going to be this goofy guy. <laughs> Did you open mine yet, or am I still... In line. You're probably still in line. Golden Finnamore, that's right. <laughs> Christmas. Big T. There's Big Mac. Colton. Alberto. Big T. Here we go. Where's that Cherryzard? Hey, mister, when will you submit the PSA order for Draven? Uh, I do it bi weekly, so it should be the upcoming week, right? Here are the current PSA cards. So we got Draven. Looks like you just got in line. So I do this bi-weekly. Every two weeks, I submit the entire thing. I've thought about about I've thought about doing it weekly, and supplementing the order with my own cards. Ooh, look at that, Snow Walrus. Jesus, those are some pricey cards in there, guys. Next up, we have. Hey, mister, first time sending money in. I'll take spot 22 or closest to last, please, in the Lucario test tube Mewtwo. All right, very cool. Wait, 
He said, yeah, he said 14. All right, so here you go. Paolo Imond. All right, so he's the first one to do it. The question is, who will be number three and get the free spot? Is uh, Alex PSX, I think. Actually, this guy's Alex Grigetta. Grigetta? Howdy, mister. May I have a spot in the large, a spot in the shiny V booster? Then may I get one shiny V pack? All right. Spot in the large. Alex says no. Okay. God, this, is, it, is it Ninja Bread Alex? All right, I'm just going to put his real name down. Very confusing. There we go. Alex Grigetto. And he also wants to be in the shiny booster. What's up, Cheese? Alex Grajados. That's me, mister. That's what I thought. God damn, dude. You trying to trick me? You gotta you gotta give me your nickname every time, mister. There's a lot of guys in here. There are multiple guys with that name. There's a guy with a name very close to yours. The first name's the same. The last name's only slightly different. And I do not know who is who because I couldn't possibly memorize all these names. Here we go. We got one shiny star pack. Let's get it open. You ready? Are you scared? Intrigue? What's the best pull so far? The best pull so far. That's a good question. Mom! I think Fury TV had the best pulls so far, followed maybe by Eddie Petty. Here we go. Oh, what'd you get? You got something back there, mister. Who was this for? Ninja Bread Alex, huh? Oh, what is that? That's some kind of gold card. Oh, what? Dude, two of these in one pack? What the hell? Damn, dude. This is clearly Eternatus. Damn. Very cool. Major Epic. <laughs> okay, slide that in there. And then, what the hell? Dude, that looks awesome. All right, well, let me know how much you're going to sell that to me, Ninja Bread. <laughs> Ninja Bread Alex, where's his at? I actually like Eternatus. He's kind of cool. Ninja bread, ninja bread. Very good luck for you today, ninja bread. Nubstar, Nick, Matthew, Mossett. He says, what a pack. I know, right? I think that's a money money maker, if I had to guess. I don't see it here. He says, my butt is puckered. He says, what's the price on the Eternatus? I don't know. I don't think he'll outdo the Charizard, but he looks pretty cool. Some kind of golden card. Ninja Bread, do you need a new bag? Nevertheless, new Mazvara, no luck. Okay, toss this over here. I'm just going to get you a new bag so we can keep moving. Wow, mister. Beautiful. Makes you wonder what else is in here, huh? That's a long name. Woohoo! Okay, next up we have his awesome cameras. He says, I'll go for the Evo now. Glad you found more in your stash, mister. Sounds good. Do I work out at home? Yes. And what do we got here? That's a green back. Two, three. Picking up Weedle. That's Weedle Mewtwo. Any secret rares? No secret rares. So where can we put this? Can we put this in the middle? Okay, so awesome cameras. Let's get this in your bag real fast. Awesome cameras. Sounds like he's got some awesome cameras. What is the one gold card named? That's definitely an Eternatus V from Shiny Star. Right, place that right there. He looks pretty sweet. Elliot Clark, he says, let's go put me in the small. I feel lucky. All right. 
You got number nine. He says, what exactly is a God pack? Says Nate. I'm not sure, Nate. Eddie Petty says, one round of Sword and Shield base set. You got it, Eddie Petty. He's going for the base set, everyone. Two, three, four, five. God pack is when Kitty scratches the pack open. That's right. <laughs> Sneep. Sneep. Oops. Sneep. 100 subs, half an hour. Mr. is going for the silver Dialga PSA 10. What? Have we picked up 100 subs? I would love to pick up 100 subscribers today in today's live stream. So if you guys want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and even ring the bell because it tells you when we're going live. Pack number two. This is a very active Pokemon card channel. Very active. Team Yell Grunt. You can see a bazillion Pokemon cards open all the time and even have Pokemon cards open for yourself. How nice is that? Two, three, four. Gossip Fleur. Gossip Fleur is everywhere, man. Get out of here, Gossip Fleur. You subed. Mister, I pulled a secret rare Raikou from Vivid Voltage and it was so off center and had a white mark. There's a Raikou in the. Oh, Raikou, Raikou. Here's more Peko. Woohoo! Ah, one more white back. One more chance for a full art or hyper rare. Let's see what we get. Ponyard. Mmm, I don't know about that Ponyard. All right, looks like just the more Peko this time, Eddie Petty. A little bit cold. I don't know if I would grade more Peko. I guess if he was a perfect 10, I would. Eddie Petty. Mister, should I do a Misty Waifu drawing like the Naughty card? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I miss Dinklebot says, I refuse to have an ice cold pack. One more shiny V star. You got it. You got it. Sneep. Here we go. Unified Minds? Uh, actually, we do have Unified Minds. I should go get them, huh? So what do we got? This time we've got the Rillaboom. There you go, Miss Dinklebot. I miss Dinklebot. Did you say copycats? I just want you guys to know I was the original. I don't know if I was the original, actually. Was I? I know when I started, there was basically no one doing this. Uh, Pokey Rev was doing it, and he was doing it differently. He wasn't really doing it in real time. He had to order ahead of time. Dinklebot says, I'm in pain. <laughs> One shiny bee, wink wink for Amory. You got it, Amory. Is it dangerous to dwink and pokey? Sneep. Come on, Zared. Somebody tell me more information about those code cards. Eternatus V, ooh, or not V, Eternatus V Max. Ooh, Unified Minds ain't on the description, says Mike. Mike's side. You want me to add it? I could probably add it. All right, so Amory. Tejada. That sounds like somebody who has a different name, like a nickname. I'm going to go find Amory. You missed the shiny. Whoa, hold up. No, I didn't. He's just messing with us. Okay, put that back over there. Amory, Amory. Isn't this music catchy? What's up, Pokey Pathway? Amory, where are you? All right. I'm pretty sure Omri goes by another name. I'm probably just going to give him a new bag. Omri. I don't hear him talking.
Maybe he doesn't. Would like to use my credit. What's up, Ray Kishi? Talk to me, Ray Kishi. You've got $143. What would you like, mister? He says, for Shiny V. Would you like it all to go to Shiny V? He says, hmm. There's also, uh, let me show you. There's also a Shiny V game going on. So Shiny Star V, 20 bucks to get in the game if you want to get in there, okay? Well, I got to keep it moving. Let me go ahead and tape you back up. You tell me what you want. He said three packs. Three packs, he says. Perfect. So, do a little math here. Okay, you got 71 left. There you go, Rikishi. Nice to have you back, mister. You still got a bag over here? You need a new bag. One, two, and three. He says, don't know. He says, yes, I have a bag. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Perfect. Sleep. Amory is me. You have no bag. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stick with Amory, okay? Because you forgot to give me your nickname. So if it's easier for you, or easier for you, we can just do Amory all the time. Super rare incoming. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got the Zamazenta. He says, okay, yeah. Ooh, oh, look at this. I don't remember his name. Thievil? I don't remember the uh, smaller one's name. Very nice. Grab this Cramorant out of here. Oops. Cramorant. Oh, hold on. And what do we got here? Club Fable, Double. I like this guy back here. He's kind of cool. Age of Slash or something. Toss that in. Okay, cool. The fox is called Nicket. You are correct. All right, I'm going to lift this whole bag, this whole box. We're going to find Ray Kishi right now. Ryan Payne, Riley Hill, Roxas, Pablo, Ryan, Quentin, Pokezonic. <laughs> this is Pokezonic. Uh, I better set Pokezonic's bag to the side. He asked to contact me about shipping, but he blocked me on Discord because he was mad that I took his mod away. So that doesn't need to be sitting in here. Pi Meister, Pokey Lou, Richard Brown, RPG Gamer, Purebred, Red Flare, Red Express, Ride Morin. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm laughing too a little bit. He, he muted somebody that he didn't like. He just got mad at him and muted him. And that's exactly what I was concerned about because, you know, he's he's obviously a little kid. He's not an adult. And it's like, it's kind of funny to have a little kid as mod, especially in the manner that he received the moderator role. He just kind of begged for it a bunch and then I finally gave in. Uh, but, you know, he can't be going around doing that. Really, all he had to do was nothing for a long time. If he just did nothing, he'd still be moderator right now. But then after I removed the moderator from him, he wasn't even cool about it. He's like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> he blocked me on Discord. I, I was going to, he said, I hate you. Why'd you remove my role? And then when I finally read that message, I went to reply and I was already blocked. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Pokezonic booster? That we're making the Pokezonic booster. And then we're going to copyright it. And then he'll get mad. Let's see. Let's see who's next. Thank you, Ray Kishi, for opening up those shiny stars. Let me jump into activity. Cancel TCC. I hate him. I freaking hate him, man. So we, we took care of Ray Kishi. He got the shiny nicket. That was really cool. By the way, Ray Kishi, if you want shipping, uh, you could always jump into the Please Ship channel. Uh, but if you think you're going to keep buying, you don't have to do that yet. 
Nickname is Lunchbox. Okay, so we're taking care of Lunchbox next. Lunchbox, just remember, every time you order now, you have to say that in the message. I'm Lunchbox. He wants one Shiny Star V. One Tag Team All-Stars. Not giving up on the Tag Team All-Stars. Give me a second. That's right, because Tag Team All-Stars, by the way, this set has a Charizard in it as well. The Golden Charizard. Charizard Reshiram. Still pretty cool. I need a bag. I'm new. Sounds good, mister. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. That's nice, Gopher King. All right. What happens with the other cards? I send them to the children in Africa. How much is his bag? What, Pokey's Onyx bag? Here it goes. Scratch, scratch and sniff. Scratch and sniff jinx. Sign me up, man. Mister put his bag for sale or make a raffle out of it. <laughs> I think his bag was technically only donations from people, uh, but I couldn't do that. It's not my property. It's his property. It was gifted to him, and that makes it his prop property. Lapras. All right. Lapras Bree, Bree, V, and Sceptile GX. That goes right over to Lunchbox. Woohoo! Here you go, Lunchbox. What's the best pull from Shiny Star V? Probably the Cherry Zard. Okay, place this over here. Yeah, I gotta have a shipping address. He never gave it to me. Next up, we have Sumo 1K, one medium mister. All right, Sumo 1K. Did someone say Cream Siege? It's Brian Locke. What's up, Brian Locke? He says, let's get that God Pack, one shiny star. Good luck. You pulled the Marnie Full Art. Nice. He says, yummy cream. My cream siege senses are tingling. Keeps messing me up that there's an actual code card. Not expecting it. Senna Scorch. So, kind of a cool pack. I don't think that pack's too crazy, Brian. This really changes the economy on the V cards. These V cards are about as valuable as a hollow. Because you're getting one every single pack. I don't know how I feel about that. Brian Locke. Wonder if your bag is up top. All I know is this little box can't hold so many cards. Cirque fan, Asian Tim, Christopher, Brian Locke, we found you. We are gonna need to get some cards out of there. What's the thickest bag in here? Here's one in the back that's kind of thick. What is this? Cheese? Cheese is going up top. All right. Okay, let's see who's next. It's Riley Hill. He wants spot 5 and 14 in the medium. And 14. Okay. Next up, we have Toxic George. He would like a small custom booster pack. Here you go, Toxic George. Oops. Wrote that onto the next card. <laughs> Shiny Star for Chaka Kills. You got it, Chaka Kills. Good luck, mister. Any more vintage packs left? Technically, I have those two maybe heavy base set packs. Chaka Kills. Oh, very cute. All right, so you end up with Eternatus V, and I believe that's Sobble, right? Shiny Sobble? Very cute. 
I don't even know what I buy a little bit drunk here. A little bit drunk. Uh, what you bought. See this list? Your name's on the list. And when the list is filled, we're going to be opening a bunch of custom booster packs, okay? And the custom booster packs have uh, special chase cards in them that I put together myself, okay? Uh, some really nice stuff if you happen to win. And not everyone will win, though. Actually, I was thinking about doing something a little wild this time. I was thinking about having only one winner in the small this round. And that person takes the entire lot. Just to be crazy. Just to be random. Chaka Kills, I believe you're up here. He says, oh, man. That's right. You would get everything. The three PSA cards and all the raw cards. Chaka Kills. But there would only be one winner. Next up, we have Senza. Two spots in the medium for Senza. I don't think we'll do that. That's too crazy, right? The rest of the tip for a can of your Canada Dry. Oh, thanks. Very nice, Senza. Next up, we have Mikey TV. Sword and Shield, shiny, shiny star. You ready? All right. You're right, Tony. Tony, you're right. We'll, we'll keep it the way it's meant to be, okay? We'll keep it the way it's meant to be. All right, here we go. Mikey TV. He says, the small hasn't gone off yet, right? Not yet, but it's very close. It's the bird catcher or, or bird trainer? So you got a full art in yours. I think this is a hit. Nice. So by default, you get one of these Laprises. See, I think that's like a default card. It's basically like a hollow card now. But this card, I believe, in the pack is actually going to be a hit because you you rarely get uh, an additional full art like that. Nice job, man. Mikey TV, let's go find your bag. Nick Boo, Mikey Wynn, Mikey TV. Hey, you got that Pikachu too, man. He says, that's a Scientology pack. That's right. Eddie Petty, spot number two on the Lucar Lucario Medium game. Oops, not this. Here it is. Uh, yep, this one right here, right? Spot number two. It looks like it filled up with Elliot Clark. We're going to put you here on 15. And that means the next person who has ordered a spot here is going to get the free spot, right? Oops. He says the next spot. Yeah, the next spot would be 15. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and refresh the PayPal now because I've caught up. Just sent for a spot in the small. Woohoo! All right, let's see. Next up, we have Paolo Imond, and he wants two more spots in the Lucario Mewtwo and a Cream Siege for the Lulz. Well, guess what, mister? You just got the free spot. So that leaves two spots left and a pack of Cream Siege, huh? Woohoo! Hey, mister, do you have any diamond and pearl packs? I do not. I'm not really that interested in diamond and pearl. I think that when the Watsy packs are really expensive enough, then I'll turn my eye on stuff like diamond and pearl. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice, dude. Picking up the Pokemon Ranger. All right. Grabbing that full art in one pack. Great luck. And that was for Paolo, right? Does he already have a bag? We got a Paul Bradley. Bradley. Odnon, PMP. I don't think he has a bag. So let's get him a fresh bag. Okay, fresh bag for you, mister. All these million sub people in chat and won't even shout out TCC. Damn shame. <laughs> I know how it goes. It's not a big deal. This channel will grow either way. 
you know, shout outs are really nice. Um, but the thing that makes your channel truly grow is good content. So that's all, that's all I got to focus on. Woohoo! Man, it got dark outside. It's only 4... 4 58. What the... What the freak? All right, we're jumping over here. I appreciate them hanging out, actually. I think that's really cool. The fact that they came over anyways. They didn't have to do that. They could have been in the shadows. So Terp says... Custom booster, shiny star V. Also, I like free stuff. Me, 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 me. <laughs> so we're going to put you down. Okay. Next up, we have Paul Bradley, who would like two spots in the medium. Here you go, Paul. Paul Bradley. Now, I'm going to go close my blinds, because it is so dark outside, everyone can look in. I'm going to go close them, and I'm going to grab some unified minds as well, okay? Actually, let me see if I need nail out here. So, we're going to grab some boonies from over here. Boonies. Unified Minds is back. And I guess we'll put it down here. Down mirror. Let's go find out how we're going to price it. Boonies, boonies. Okay, wow. Unified Minds is expensive. So Unis is going to be three for twenty-five. I wonder if they'll keep reprinting Sun and Moon that much. I wonder what the future for Pokemon holds. All right, I'm refreshing the PayPal's. So Let's see what happens next. How long have we been streaming? An hour, an hour and a half, roughly. So, we are all caught up. There's no wait time. You guys tell me what you would like to talk about, or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, since we have a moment, I'll show you guys what's going on with the custom booster pack games. We have Shiny Star V. So, in this game, you have... Um, there's going to be... Is it six winners? I think there's six winners. Yeah, there's six winners, and each winner six wins and they're each five packs so your odds are one in six of picking up five packs of shiny star okay uh, here's the small the small consists of a lot of things the small is going to have all this in it it's going to have a pack of all all stars it's going to have this base set sand shrew Tenzenberg's donation pack. Very kind of you, Tenzenberg. Um, Mr. Mime from Jungle. This really worn out Mew from, I think it's Diamond and Pearl era, someone told me. Here's a Charizard. Gyarados. Mewtwo from Base Set 2. He's a little bent. Dreadnought VMAX from Champion's Path, by the way. That's cool. This banned Sabrina card, which is actually pretty valuable. Uh, this little pack of damaged... Mister, has anyone ever asked you to put their bag into a raffle? Uh, yeah, people have asked that before. So this is just like a bonus. I toss this in because I have a bunch of these. These are like, these are old vintage, common and commons. It's not really a big prize. It's just a little extra thing. You know, because if you don't, if you don't hit one of the big prizes, it's just nice to get something. Uh, Shining ho -Oh 10 is the big prize. So this card's going for more and more money every day. Necrozma 9 from Burning Shadows and a Fire Energy card from Gym Challenge First Edition. That's PSA 9, right? Yeah, PSA 9. Not bad. So that's what's in the small. The small has one, two, three, four spots left. It's just about over. 
This is Lucario's Mewtwo PSA pre-sale. And uh, he had his car, he, he needs a repair on his car, so he's trying to put together a little bit of money. You can see there's just two spots left. There's only one person who wins it. And what'll happen is he's got a Mewtwo submitted to uh, PSA through me. We'll scratch his name out and we'll put your name in. Okay, that's what's the Lucario card. And then we have the large, which ironically, or coincidentally is probably a better word, coincidentally has a Mewtwo 10 in it. So this is the actual card, the Mewtwo, because he's in a tube. This is the Mewtwo 10, uh, and there's only one person that's going to pull this chase card out, and there's 36 spots total with $22 per spot. Okay? So that's the large. The large is a game where you spend a lot of money and your odds are very low. Uh, so that's how the large works. Because you get a large price. He says, that ho-ho will be mine, mister. If you buy a small, do you get it shipped over if you win straight away from the UK? No, uh, like everything else, we do as much combined shipping as possible. So the way it works is if you feel that you are done opening you know, cards on this channel, what you want to do is jump over to the Please Ship channel in the Discord. Remember, I use Discord for all communication. So you jump over to the Please Ship channel. You say, hey, I'm all done buying cards for now. Please ship my bag. Here's my bag name. Thanks. This goes into a list, and I work my way down the list. Okay, and when it's your turn, I click on your name, and I should see more information about you, like your shipping information. That's how it works, okay? It's not real complicated, but the first time you do it, there's a little bit of learning. I hope that makes sense. Let's see, a bunch of orders just popped in. We got Chaka Kills, who would like Unified Minds. All right, look at that. We grab some Unified, and then we set open that Unified. Unis! You know what we haven't pulled in a long time? A Mewtwo and Mew from Unified Minds. I'd love to pull that right now. Any Zarge pulled yet? No Zarge yet. Not yet. Sneep. Sneep. How inflated would you say the market is currently with YouTuber hype investing? Uh, I think that the issue of inflation keeps, get talk keeps getting talked about by YouTubers who are out of content to make. So what they do is they reach for the low-hanging fruit because it's easy to scare people into thinking all your Pokemon cards are about to be valueless. Uh, if you feel like your cards are inflated, particularly your old vintage cards, just let me know. I'll be happy to buy all of them from you, okay? Just let me know. Contact me at 1-800-Oh-my-gosh-Pokemon's-in-a-bubble.com. Text me. You ready? Is Misty's flavor? Uh, do I think Vivid Voltage is overpriced? I think Vivid Voltage is overpriced. That's not the same as being in a bubble. You know, uh, we we like to use terms that I'm I'm starting to disagree with those terms increasingly. When I started getting into the Pokemon card hobby, there were like these catchphrases and almost like business slogans and just you know this sort of mumbo jumbo speak, uh, catchy whatever. Buzz phrases, maybe that's the term I'm looking for. Including, like, we talked about one the other day. Pokemon cards will be the next fine art. And I realized when I heard that, it's just not the same. Fine art is something made by one artist, and he sells his own work, and there's one of them, right? And usually the art has a deeper meaning, or some innovation, some skill. These are not like that. These are mass-produced, and there's a lot of them. You know, like there's one Mona Lisa. Even when you talk about first edition base set Zard, isn't there like 128 of them or something like that? I don't remember how many there are. It is just not the same. When we talk about investments, uh, I like that Pokemon cards have moved up really fast. I think of them kind of like gold, but they're not the same as an investment. You might you might think of them as an alternative asset. That's just not an investment though. Because the moment that they start, they stop going up in value, People are going to be like, ooh, should I have my money in this or should I have it in the stock market where I actually get dividends? So the whole idea of being in a bubble, I think that's another catchphrase, another buzzword. People can't be in a bubble in Pokemon cards because you're not leveraged with Pokemon cards. You don't pull out a million dollar bank loan in order to buy cards expecting them to turn a profit. So if there's a bubble, it's a teeny weeny little bubble and it'll adjust. You know, cards will go up and down. It's not like there's huge consultation firms yet, yet I say. There's not like huge investment firms 
and hedge fund managers that that borrow money from people or create mortgages it's just it's content hype that's it's more of the content hype and again it's kind of like the low-hanging fruit for content creators that aren't sure what to talk about so they say let's talk about oh we're in the bubble and it's sad because i would like not to i'd like to not talk about that because it's just kind of made up jargon for pokemon card collecting but people will click on it because it's clickbaity it's clickbaity oh i'm sorry mister your last pack is a green it's clickbaity we're in a bubble are we in a bubble we're in a bubble it's a bubble the bubble's about to pop oh man could pokemon cards be in a bubble is logan paul leaving is the bubble about to burst right so that's that's clickbait and as a content creator you're supposed to be good at making that and oh i gotta sneeze i gotta sneeze right now hold on okay oh i gotta sneeze again do i okay i'm back <laughs> I got control of that mute button. So anyways, uh, do I think Pokemon cards can be overpriced? Definitely. Do I think Pokemon cards are going to melt down like the Beanie Baby fad? Probably not. And I think I, I'm tired of hearing that buzzword, that we're in a bubble catchphrase. Uh, you know, people are mad because there's like Pokemon card hype on YouTube. Do you think any of the those YouTubers are really going away? They're not going anywhere. So they're going to be hyping Pokemon cards probably for the next 10 years because they found a career on YouTube. So if anything, the Pokemon YouTube hype will probably expand as more people attempt to start a career on YouTube. That's probably what will happen. It'll actually expand, not shrink. All right, let's see. Ryan Payne, one spot in the small. You got it, Ryan. Do I think Flash Fire's overpriced? Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. I don't know if Flash Fire's necessarily overpriced, but the uh, the Charizard in it, I think, might be underpriced. I was doing an analysis of that very set. And guess what I did? I picked up the Charizard 10, because I think he might be a little underpriced right now. All right, there we go. Listen, if, the, if those booster boxes were underpriced or overpriced, what would happen is somebody else would come onto the market with one of those booster boxes and sell one of their booster boxes. He says, we need to get this small over the line. My Ho-Oh is waiting. He says, the Mega? Uh, let me show you the one I just ordered. Actually, let me go look at it real fast. Let me see the entire... I'm going to go to Poke Collector real fast. I'm going to make sure I got the... <laughs> I bought it very casually. I didn't think that hard about it, but I did an analysis and I'm like, this set seems underpriced. So hold on. So it was this one. This was the one I ordered. Okay, and... Flash, fire, char... Hold on, I'm looking for him. I think this is it. Yeah. So I did an analysis, and I, I don't know. I thought that this card was actually kind of underpriced after looking at it. He says, the secret rare or just the hollow? I'm pretty sure just the hollow. All right, let's see. He says, mister, I paid $140 at Meyer for 50 packs of Unbroken. Wow, mister. Mister, that's so crazy. Mister, you're out of control, mister. I'm just looking this set over a little bit more. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I have the bulk with my live shipping, says Aaron. Absolutely. We're going to jump into activity. There we go. And where were we? We were just opening cards up. We we're opening up the Unified Minds for Chaka Kills. We took care of Ryan Payne. Now we have is AMG. What's up, AMG? All Sun and Moon base set and live shipping. Sweet. Sun and Moon base set. One, two, three, four, five, three, huh? Do those Jirachi boxes have this in it? 
Give me a second. I think I know where I can get more of that Sun and Moon base. Give me a minute. So those, that's the last packs I have, but I believe I have more out in the car. Be right back, guys. I don't remember. I opened one of these in the car with my wife. One of these tins. I think it had Sun and Moon base in it, if I recall. Man, it's raining out there. It's raining real hard. Also, they're about to move a tree stump. I didn't realize it was the one in front of my house. All right, what do we get? Yeah, there we go. So the Breakpoint Steam Siege Sun and Moon base set right there. Let me get one more. Yeah, I went to the Target. I picked up. I didn't buy that many. I just bought like, I bought like five of them. There was a whole end cap of them. I could have bought them all out. I was like, that's okay. They all the same? I guess they're all the same. There we go. We got two rounds. Let me go say that we're sold out of these now, though. Sorry. My nose is running from sneezing. So I'm running over here. Sun and Moon base set sold out. You know, the two from the tins, I'd love to see... If they pull something hot, that would be pretty funny. He says, is it true blisters have the best luck? No, that's not what I've seen. All right, here we go. Sneep. That took us a while to get those last two packs, huh? <laughs> What's up, Matt? Sneep. Catered to children. Mom! Mom, I need your credit card. I love children. They just got to have mom's credit card. That's all. Early today. No, we'll be on again tonight. Actually, we need to wrap up soon. We're getting closer to the two-hour mark. Sneep. How do you get a distributor, bro? I want to know. I want to start a business. Oh, well, here. Let me teach you all of my trade secrets for free. Hey, mister, if I wanted to pay for random XY boosters, where would I pay for them? Random XY boosters. Hmm. Oh, that'd be cool. What if I had, like, a random booster box? Random booster box with a pack from every set, and I had a price already on it. That'd be kind of cool. The Crushing Hammer. Hmm. Bulk with live shipping. Right. My bad, mister. Sorry about that. So we got Brion. Crushing Hammer, Bon Sweet, Crobat. There you go. And we got two codes for you. Here you go. Sorry about that. All right, what do we have here? Sorry, it's because I had to go get all those booster packs. I totally forgot. We got a green back. A white back. What do we got here? Come on. Picking up Soul Galio GX. That's a green back. Is beware. Ooh, another white back. Oh, you got something. What'd you get? <laughs> it's Tauros. 
As always, Tauros. Come on, where's the Umbreon? That's a greenback. And that's a greenback. Okay. So the live shipping, huh? No problem, mister. You keep all your bulk when you do live shipping. How many cherry zards do I have? I have two cherry zards. Did those Sun and Moon base set packs come from the EV tens? Uh, these were ho o tens. Ho o tens. So, Aaron, I'm going to have you confirm your address real fast. Okay, the address starts with 839. Does that sound right? Let me know. I'll go ahead and... He says, yes, sir. All right. So, oh, no, I can't do your email. That's sad. <laughs> they have a website, but no email. That's fine. We'll just move over here. You know, it's sad. I have to use paper to ship now instead of uh, labels. And that's because my label printer is out of labels. So I've been using paper. Mister, did you know the EV10s come with XY Evo? What? I want some, I want some EV10s. Where are my EV10s? All right, we got the label. I gotta sneep it out. Much slower to do it this way. Fortnite Focus, Shiny Golbat. That's right, he popped in and he opened some vintage cards with us last night. It was very cool. Well, tell him I said hi. All right, let's get this packed up. Super packed. You bought a $25 Charwizard box from GameStop. Nice, dude. It's Charwizard. Master. I'm looking for the Charwizard. Do you have that one? Master. Here's this empty Target bag. I guess I'll use that too. Gotta make sure this trash doesn't go in the trash. All right, you guys are going to hear the tape dispenser over here, but that's all right, because it's daytime. Okay. And let's get this in the bag. Let's go. Kitty, I ain't playing no games. Mess with me, Kitty. See what happens. Kitty, I'm crazy. My cat saw me stand up. She thinks I'm here to play now. <laughs> All right, no more orders, please, guys. We're going to start wrapping up. We're on the last 12 minutes. Okay, next up, we have Quentin. What's up, Quentin? Welcome back, man. So Quentin wants some shiny star V, huh? What do I consider vintage? Stuff that's old. It's hard to say, isn't it? George, what's up, George? George, we'll have another live stream. It's called the late night live stream. Two shiny star, one small mystery. You got it, Quentin. Quentin on 19. Am I gonna get the kid voice stuck in my head? Mistool. Would you ever open old school EX packs? Uh, phew, those are really expensive. I don't know, it's a good question. You sent for a spot in the small, just wondering if it went through. We will find out in a minute, mister. So GJM needs a spot in the small, huh? Oh, nice. You got the Reshiram. Ooh, I like this guy too, actually. So let's get all three of these. So there's your Rotom Reverse Hollow. Here is your Boltund V. 
And here is your Reshiram. Amazing rare. Nice, dude. Next pack. What do we have here? Marnie, Eternatus, VMAX, and a Sigilyph. I don't think Sigilyph is all that popular. You're itching. He's itching to fire the trigger. Quentin, Quentin, let's find your bag, Quentin. Bet you're up top. Almost showed the code. Mistle. Got any codes, Mistle? Quentin, Quentin. Rodney. Does he need a new bag? You don't need a new bag, do you, Quentin? Don't lie to me, Quentin. Quentin. Odd non PMP. PMP. Ryan Payne. Riley Hill. Roxas. Pablo. Ryan Hutch. Quentin. We found him. Am I giving away Pokemon? I'm giving away Pokemon just to you, Ant360. All you had to do was say, me, 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 me. And then I give you tons of Pokemons. What's up, Justin? Did I pull the Charizard? Uh, we have not pulled the Charizard. Not yet. It's going to happen, guys. All right, next up, we have Sudud. I'll take a Lucky and Fuis spot in the small. Sudud. So we better check for GJM because he says he ordered a small and he's not on the list or something. So, a GJM, huh? Elliot, Alex, Big T. Oh, it looks like we actually missed one for Bin Bin. I did not see that. So William Bin Bin, here you go. Interesting. I have a theory that sometimes PayPal doesn't receive the payment right away. And so what happens is it updates later, but still in order of when they came in. Draven, Fury TV, Isaac, Miguel, Miss Dinklebot, Vincent, Matthew, Bradley, Blasters Buddy. All right, so I'm still not seeing GJM. GJM, let me go look you up. What's your actual name uh, for the PayPal's? Let's see if I can find you on Discord. Yeah, here you are. And your name, okay. So now I know what I'm looking for. Let me do a search, okay? Yeah, so weird. Actually, you're right here. That's so funny because I, I went through the list looking for uh, anything that started with the G in the name and I didn't I still didn't see it. Weird. All right, you're in GJM. Woohoo! You made it. Also, let's open this up for Bin Bin. Bin Bin. Woohoo! Oh, Bin Bin got a hit, dude. Bin Bin, aren't you glad I skipped you? You end up pulling the shiny Dragapult. Wow, dude. Very cool. Look at that. Very wild. Now, I think he's already been shipped. He says, Pog, William, Zenlike, Vinyl, Winston. All right. Can I change my small since I didn't get in? Yeah, absolutely. You miss Streamlabs? I miss Streamlabs. It's not a big difference, though. And honestly, I like the system better for accounting, but also being able to look people up e easily. Wow. What a great pack. Very lucky, William. Hey, mister, is my bag still there or shipped? Adam, I think that you are next on the shipping list, and I stopped at you today. I actually worked all the way up to you, and then I stopped. Pretty sure. All right. So here we go. We haven't done this small in a long time. He says, really? Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> Well, there's a stopping point for everyone. There's a stopping point every time I start. 
This is going to take a minute, so get comfortable, guys. So we're going to start here. We're going to say one large. We're going to say fire energy. Necrozma. Ho uh oh. Huge bulk. All right. So so far, we've got huge bulk. Ho oh. Necrozma. Fire energy and one large. Now, what we're going to say is, there's a winning spot for the Tenzin bag. Tenzinburg. Thank you for the no donation, Tenzinburg. Tenzinburg donated these cards, guys, so one of you guys will be winning his cards. Colossal V in there and a Zorark. Very nice. That's an Aveltal break. It actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so Den Tenzinburg. Somebody gets one pack of All-Stars. Tenzinburg, a philanthropist now? I know, right? And um, let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, there's these bulk. Uh, so we're going to have common, uncommon, vintage. Okay, that's for that little pack of those. Now, I don't think we're going to do one card at a time for the wins here. We're going to do round one, round two, round three. So there's going to be group one, group two, group three. Oh, this is a nice group. It's got four cards in it. Okay. The problem is there's going to be so many prizes. It's, taking, it's going to take us too long to get through them. That is an unusually large number of prizes for the small, and it makes it a little unwieldy, actually, to uh, work on it. Something to think about for the future. Kind of unwieldy. I'm going to move these off to the side so they're not on the table anymore. Let's see what your odds are. So there's 36 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So your odds are like a little less than 1 in 3, I think. It's very close to 1 in 3. Okay, let me build up the hits. Can I get some cards, bro? That's right. Let me give you some cards, bro. What's the large booster looking like? What's the large game looking like? Uh, it's filling up slowly but surely. Remember, it's got the PSA 10 Mewtwo in it. the two hour mark i'm supposed to be wrapping up right now and so i can see that i can see that you really have to stop the stream early like see that doesn't work that well does it it's because everything gets caught like this there's like a little flap that they get caught on kind of like when you're making love and no i'm just kidding all right, here we go. Night Paradox. I don't I don't think you made it in unless your name is like something other than Night Paradox. He's on slot 20. Jigglies, you mean?
last shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Landing on one. Wow. Landing on one. Everyone just shifted by one. So this would have actually been Ryan Payne's pull. Uh, and the one on the bottom would have been Eddie Petty's pull if there was no shuffling. So are you ready? Eddie Petty taking something that Ryan would have gotten. Let's see what it is. Number three. Okay, so bag, bag number three going right over to Eddie Petty. Let's find bag number three. Here it is. Eddie Petty picking up Mewtwo, Sandshrew, kind of a nicer Sandshrew, Mr. Mime, Japanese, and I think there's a Diamond Pearl Mew. Let's go ahead. I'm actually going to remove these from these. You're welcome to have me send these off to grade, but they're actually just going to go into your, into your bag. So we didn't actually need all these card savers. I think I was just doing it to display them. Okay, place these over there. Eddie Petty, you've had a nice night, Eddie Petty. You won the medium, and then you got the Tapu Finny. Now you're getting this, this spot in the small. Yeah, your bag just grew in value pretty fast. Next up, we've got Ryan. Sadud. Sadud on three. Picking up the ho-ho-ho right at the beginning. The ho-oh. We did it! Sorry, everyone else's hopes and dreams. That goes right over to Sadud. Damn, dude. Sadud picking up the chase right at the beginning of the game. That's the best card valued at maybe like $300 or $400. I don't know exactly what it goes for today now. Okay, we've got GJM. Sorry, GJM. Matt Pesky. Matt Pesky on five. Picking up the All-Stars pack. Matt Pesky. Let's see what you got. Not too bad. It's basically like buying a pack from me live anyways. Golden Charizard? No Golden Charizard. Uh, but not bad anyways. You got the Blastoise and the Rayquaza. Here we go. Set that over there. Okay, so... That's Matt Pesky, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go find Matt Pesky's bag. Manual, Nick, Mikey, Mike Spandinator. You're up top in the box, I guess. Right in the front, too. Matt Pesky, all right. Here you go. Mr. Okay, now we move on. Haunted on six. Joshua Cooley. Poke Kobe. On number nine, we have Elliot Clark. Ten is going to be Blake B. Eleven is Nerdy Noob. Nerdy Noob on eleven. What'd you get, Nerdy Noob? Picking up bag number two. Nerdy Noob with the Cherryzard. Cherryzard and Gyarados. Nice. The modern cards, huh? go nerdy noob on 11 where are we gonna find nerdy noobs back did i just ship nerdy noob i feel like i just shipped them maybe i didn't though nerdy noob what a lovely cherries art the cherries art and the gyarados huh okay now spot number 12 is over here toxic george you ready toxic george that's a cold pack. 13 is Mask Matt Pesky. 14 is Chubby Pop Chaser. Chubby Pop Chaser picking up the Necrozma 9. All right. Picking up one of the PSA cards. Okay. So that was number 14. 14 is done. 15 is Lucario question mark. Matt Pesky is 16. 16, Matt Pesky again, picking up huge bulk. That's actually valued at almost $100. Did you know that? 
Meaning if he took that box and basically just relabeled it and sent it off to one of those places that buy bulk, he'd basically get like $100 out of it. Congratulations, Matt, on 16. Sadud, Jonathan, I can't read the rest of his name. Jonathan Her, picking up pack number one. All right. That's the Dreadnought. Nice. Dreadnought, ooh, and the Sabrina's Frick, which is actually pretty valuable. Both cards here are very valuable, I'd say. Especially if the Dreadnought grades well. I think he would be over $100. So that was for Jonathan Her. Let me look that up. I think it's Jonathan Hernandez, actually. I remember that one. It's Jonathan Hernandez. So let me go find... I don't know if he has a bag. I don't think he has a bag. Jiggly, Joey, KB Blooster, Lucario, Lumber, Jonathan Hernandez right here. Very nice, mister. This is a really nice vintage card. You, you need that out of the Gym 2 box. And Gym 2 uh, is really expensive. It's an old Watsi set, right? It's part of the Watsi collection in English, so it's one of the oldest sets. Okay, on number 19, we have Elliot Clark. No, here it is. Quinton, number 19. All right, here you go, Quinton. Cold. 20 is Jiggly. Sorry, Jiggly. Haunted on 21. Paul Bradley. Mars Bars. Mars Bars. What do you get? Common Uncommon Vintage. There we go. I couldn't read that. So this is for Mars Bars, and does Mars Bars have a box? I feel like Mars Bars has a box. Looking behind me. You know, I, I think he does, but also I think he would have been on the sidebar, and I think I moved the sidebar bags tonight. We're going to say Mars Bars. Mars Bars. Okay. We'll place these right here. That was Mars Bars on... 23, right? <laughs> Wait, we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What's 36 minus 18? Here, I'll do the math real fast. Wait, uh, it would be, these five are already done, actually. So it would be 18 minus 5, which is 13. 36 minus 13, which is 23. 36 minus... Yeah, 23. So we pulled 23, I believe, which means Marsh Bars has another pack of 24. Matt Pesky on 25. Oogies on 26. Oogis, Oogis. 26, one large. All right. Here you go, Oogis. Basically, his spot just moves over here, and he has another chance to win. Go for King on 28. Recon Lord. Follows Chalk. Follows Chalk. God King Lunar on 32. Rainwater. Rainwater on 33. Picking up the Fire Energy PSA card. That's actually a really nice card. Here it is. So this is a Fire Energy card. Uh, they're not super rare. However, it is first edition and is from a really old set, Gym Challenge. That's going to say Rainwater on it now. He says, you skipped 27, did I? Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He said I skipped 27. That affects the outcome. Hold on. Eight more likes, huh? So, I remember when I won the large. He says, you're typing. Can somebody check and see if I actually missed that? He says, yeah, you didn't call me out, buddy. Oh, interesting. So, 36, 35, 34, 33. So this is actually God King Lunars then. Oh, damn. I'm sorry about that, Rainwater. This is God King Lunars on 32. I, I missed somebody. I'm glad you guys caught that. I'm so sorry, Rainwater. Ghost to God King Lunar. <laughs> it happens sometimes. That's why we do recounts. I demand a recount. I'm afraid you're not Miss Universe. God King Lunar is. Congratulations to God King Lunar. Er, God King Lunar. Here we go. Rainwater. Sorry, Rainwater. T Ham. Ugas. Ugas wins again, huh? Damn, dude. Picking up the Tenzenberg bag. Look at that. All right. Thank you so much, Tenzenberg, for your lovely donation. He says sad hours. I know. You technically did not win. I just made a mistake shouting you out. 
it probably feels terrible. <laughs> Very sorry, mister. He says, rip. I try not to make those mistakes. All right, let's find Yugis. How do I say his name properly? Is it Yugis? Maybe it's Yugis. Yugis gets the Tenzin bag. Mister, it's wigged. He wigged it. Matt Pesky on 36 is the final pack, so you can see the countdown was correct there. And it's cold. All right, and that's the end of the small as we know it. It's the end of the small as we know it. So the small's done. Let me go mark it. I'm going to actually go mark it as uh, sold out for now because I will need to build it back up, I think. Actually, maybe I'll just... Um... Do you guys like the small? I'll, I'll just start a new small. I'm not going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to allow you guys to order ahead of time for the small, but... I'm not going to say what's in the small until later, okay? So the small is $20 per spot, just like it always is. And there's going to be 36 spots, just like a regular booster box with Pokemans. Some of the prizes are really crazy. Matt Pes so this book box, uh, I could sell this book box to a book box buyer for $90 right now. I know I can. And uh, he, he instead is going to receive it as one of the prizes. And uh, I th it's a really cool thing, I think. He can give it to his children or he can resell it. Uh, really, all he has to do is relabel it if he wants to sell it. But, you know, I figure that's a cool prize to give out in the small. Give it back to you guys. Okay, there we go. So the small's reset, but there's nothing in it currently. I will have to figure out what to put in it. Okay. Whew. My back's actually feeling kind of tired from sitting too much. Would you keep it for 50 bucks store credit, says Matt Pesky. Not in this case, Matt. You got to go You gotta go do something with it yourself, okay? I think I did that for Pokey Kobe because he was an international. Um, but in this case, in this case, Matt, I'm going to send it off to you, and you'll have to learn how to send it off to somebody else. Who's the highest in the room besides me and Travis? Matt, I got a lot of bulk, Matt. I don't really need more of it. I don't know. Maybe you can talk me into a lower price. Send me a message on Discord if you really, really, really don't want to resell it yourself because it sounds like you don't want it. You might be able to sell it to somebody else, by the way. So try to offer somebody else 50 for it. Here we go. Okay, right after Quentin, I'll take Lucky and a free spot in the small. Was that so, dude? Yeah, it was. He finished it off. Now, Blastoise Buddy. What did Blastoise Buddy want me to put him into? Blastoise Buddy said, do I ship to Ireland? I sure do, Paul. Blastoise Buddy said he wanted me to move his spot over. Does anyone remember where? I don't remember what game he wanted into. So I'm going to put this back over here. Uh, I'm going to say Blastoise Buddy 20. Spot 29 in the shiny star. Got it. Perfect. There you go. Shiny star game is going, guys. No more orders, guys. No more orders. No more orders, okay? I'm wrapping up. John Ron wants into the small. John Ron, I'm going to put you into the new small. You can change that if you want, okay? John Ron, I'm allowing you to change it if you need to. Okay. The mic side, one round of Ooh Unified. Will I be stream streaming later? I will absolutely be trying to stream later. Hopefully I don't get too tired. I, I missed out on a lot of sleep last night. Sleep. The mic side. Matt says 40 for the bulk. Yeah, I think I'd do that, Matt. Matt, you want to do 40 for the bulk? I'd do that. I got to spend like $14 shipping it anyways. Three, four. Magneton. Three, four. So Waddle Ilveltal. Thanks, mister. I appreciate it, he says. No problem, Matt. Oh, 
okay, you no longer have huge bulk. You know, if you just took a minute to learn how to reship it, I'm, again, I'm pretty sure it's worth 90. Place this up here. All right. Did we just go through three packs of Unified Minds like it was nothing? Oh, man, I am very sorry, Mike Side. No luck on those Unified Minds. Draven says, PSA 9 Mew, two spots. And if I live ship, should I just wait till my PSA cards get back, then do live ship? So, Draven, your PSA cards won't come back for a very long time. Uh, let me go get you those two spots right now. So, that's the end of this. All right. I know our friend Lucario95 is going to be pleased to see that because he needs that cash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is the only chase card this round, and it's the Sawaddle. If you grab this Sawaddle, I'll give you Lucario's spot. You ready? What happened to the PSA Mewtube? What happened to it? 19. Nothing's happening to it. Lucario's selling it before it grades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, here we go. Eddie Petty on one. Elliot Clark. Nick Boo. Twin. Gentoo. Koki. Paul Bradley. Exotic Kennel, Snow Walrus, Lucario 95. Wouldn't that have been funny? Nerdy Noob, Exotic Kennel again. Lumberjack. Did I never put number 14 back into the game? Oh. Did anyone else order a spot? Oh, God damn it. Let's see what pack we're on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're done with 13. Uh, 14 will be me, I guess. I didn't win. 15 is Eddie Petty. Paul, Paolo, is that how I say his name? Brian Fugman, Paolo, Paolo, Draven. There it is. Draven, you're the winner. Look at that, Draven. Draven, you bought those last two spots, and those were the winning spots, actually. How wild. Damn, dude. So the way this works, Draven, I go into the Discord, into the submitted channel. Okay, we're going over to PSA submitted. And we're going to go find Lucario95. There it is. Shining Legends Full Art Mewtwo GX. Wait, is that the right one? Let me make sure it's the, um, what's the number on it? Is it the number 72? Let's see what the number is. It's number 78, so I got to find number 78. So it looks like he's got multiple Mewtubes out. Breakpoint, Evolutions. I see a Mewtwo GX 70, 72. Well, that's annoying. Let's try looking up number 78. That's another way we could look for it. TCC. Shining Legends Mewtwo GX Secret. It's almost like he already sold it to me. That's... Let's see. <laughs> Winston. Gerard. Tyler. Tyler. Snorlax, oh, here it is, Snorlax95, I found it, oh, oh, that's right, he had a name change, he used to go by Snorlax95, and then he changed it to Lucario95, that, that's what was setting me off, okay, I figured it out, and now we're going to do an update to this, this is so much work, you guys have no idea, and right, let's make sure we get Draven's full name, we want to make sure we have the full name in there, Jerkon, Let's find Draven's bag. It'll have his full name on it. So he used to go by Snorlax95. Here it is. Oh, that's Devonay. 
Draven, I know you're in here. Did we put you up top, Draven? I think we did. Here it is. So it's Draven Alvarado. Very good. So what happens here, Draven? That's Snorlax right there. Snorlax 95. And we type your name in. And you can see what you'll have is the Sun and Moon Shining Legend 78 Mewtwo secret. So that's already at PSA. It'll take them a long time to grade it. Maybe months to grade it. But when it comes back, it's all yours. Alvarado. Okay, Draven Alvarado. We're going to hit save on that. And now, when you search your own name, you should be able to find yourself right here. Draven Alvarado. Okay, so there you are. It's all yours now. Congratulations, mister. That's kind of a big deal because that's actually a really expensive card. And now when we hop off the stream today, we're going to have to get Lucario the money for that card. Okay, perfect. That's done. And I can remove that from our listing. So I don't know how I how much I liked doing the pre-sale. It seemed to move pretty slowly. I don't think there was as much excitement for it. Uh, so I don't know if we'll do it again. I know I had a bunch of people ask me to do that for them as well. A bunch of people came forward and said, hey, will you sell my cards before they return from PSA as well? Uh, so the demand for people who want to sell the cards is very high, and the speed that it sold was not that fast. So I don't know if we'll be doing that anymore. Maybe I've thought of doing this. Maybe submissions that are about to return, then we'll do a pre-sale on those. But I don't know about ones that are still have months out. Okay, it's Senza again. One spot in the large. Here you go, Senza. All right, number 26. We have Adam Smith, who says he wants a round of Unified Minds and a round of Cosmic Eclipse. All right. Ooh, Unified Minds. Good luck. Let's see what you got, mister. Man, we're two hours and 20 minutes in. I'm way over. Don't you play, play stocks, hold, don't sell? What? Unis. That's right. We got the unis. Oops. Would you be willing to trade some of my cards for one... For what? For one star Japanese mister. Uh, if the trade was looking kind of nice... You know, if you made me an offer I couldn't refuse, yeah, I would do that. But you got to make me an offer I can't refuse. Look at that. Magneton, Magnemite. <laughs> I'm going to give you both of these, actually. Just for fun. Because I, I like Magneton, Magnemite. Share the Magnemite, Magneton love, huh? What do we got here, Adam? We got Sfeel. And one more greenback. This better be a trainer art. Where's that Pikachu? Nah, Misty Lorelei, huh? All right, how about how about these Unifieds? Let's see what we got on the Unifieds. Hone Edge. Here's a white back. Licky Licky and Haxorus. Hmm. Oh, good. One more white back. We got to get you something. Nice, dude. You pulled the hyper. Very good. Rowlet alone executor. Place that over there. Wow, I thought that round was going to be a tough round, but it ended up being the hyper. Oops, that fell over. So that's for Adam Smith. Let's find his bag. Adam Smith. You know what? Your bag's getting a little fat. I think we're going to put you up top now, Adam. Running out of room up top, even. Hey, mister, give me a round of Cosmic and the Japanese tag team. I'm Keeksters. All right. He said tag team. So let me grab you a tag team. Woo, 
Woohoo! Sne Oops. Sneep. Sneep. Still time in the 11th hour to pull a golden Charizard. Good luck to Keeksters. Oh, what'd you pull? You pulled something, dude. Look at that. That looks like a hyper. What kind of hyper, though? You ready? Oh, dude, that's crazy. Oh, you just made money on this pack for sure. He just pulled Hyper Dark Rye Umbreon. Oh, I've never even seen this in English. They just don't have it. Very nice, mister. I don't know how much that is worth, but that cannot be cheap. All right, Umbreon Dark Rye. Beautiful. Let's go through these Cosmic Equips. You ready? Stoutland, all right. Stoutland's okay. I think they're all okay. I wish it was better centered. I can tell that one's off center. Okay, you're getting Foplum as well. So that's two hits from the Cosmic. Another one, huh? Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm very aroused. Let's Ultra Necrozma. That's Ultra Necrozma. We'll toss it your way. I don't think it's really worth anything, but... Unless it grades a 10, I guess. Team Rocket hoodie, I'd cop immediately. All right, we're getting the Team Rocket hoodie. <laughs> you, you'd buy it right away, huh? I was thinking about selling rings. What do you guys think about, about that? Custom rings for your card opening videos, because I know you're all going to make card opening videos, right? I'm very aroused. <laughs> so, Keekster, let's find your bag. Christian Moss. Big Mac. Colton. Keeksters. Oh, you can put it with your other uh, Ultra Necrozma. Now you got two of them. Now, there are two of them. Send in the droid techas. Are you asking to marry me? You have your own ring. Determined Misty Merch. Hell yeah. All right, and to finish us off, we have Marco, who would like to open up another tin of Hidden Fates. And I'm not doing anything after this. If anyone else made an order, you're going to have to wait until the late night stream, okay? You'll abuse all your wife. Oh, my God. This is for Marco. Good luck, Marco. Last round. It took us a while to get here. We had to go through two of the custom booster pack games to get here. Dude, that small took a long time. There was like 20 prizes, it felt. There were a lot of prizes. Here it goes. It's Paris. Woohoo. How about this? Ekans, all right. Better not be a cold tin. We haven't seen a cold tin in a while, so I'm scared. Are you guys scared? Oh, it could be a cold tin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what do we got? The birds? Oh, right on the last pack. The birds and Magnemite jump out to definitely help out. The birds, by the way, as a 10, go for like 70 bucks now. I don't know about the Magnemite. You know I'm a fan of Magnemite, but uh, he's probably not going to be a heavy hitter. All right, so it was a little bit of a cold tin, but it didn't end as a perfectly cold tin, and we've seen those. So crisis averted. Yeah, that last pack could have been a cold pack, actually. Marco, you got a thick bag, dude. Marco, you want to see your cards real fast? Look how many cards you got. Let's take a quick look. We're just going to skim through for fun. Because you got so many, you probably want to see your collection over here. Decidueye, Tapu Bulu, Gardevoir, Brooklyn Hill, Dark Rye, Guzzlord, Umbreon. I think that's the best one so far. Quagsire, Pinsir, Cynthia, Eevee, Sylveon. Jesus. Ho oh, oh, another Cynthia. Oh, that's right. We've done a pre grade on this. Turdinator. If you did another pre grade, that would take me like an hour to work through. That would take me a while to work through. Talk about some Hidden Fates luck. Yeah, he's gotten some good Hidden Fates luck. Two Cynthia's, a Sylveon, an Umbreon, Tapabulu, and uh, Charmander, and Eevee. Lots of good stuff in there. All right, because uh, honestly, Hidden Fates can be uh, like freezing cold, dude. You could pull like nothing but Wimpods. 
you can pull nothing but wind pods and uh, I don't know, buzzwolves and agonadels and drampaws all day. So your mix is actually pretty clean. One spot for the Mewtubes, please, Mikey Win. Mikey Win, I'm going to take care of that. That's an easy one. And we are done, guys. Here's a look at the, the uh, Mewtube Large. You can see there actually is a lot of interest in it. it it's moved pretty fast. Okay. That's the end of the live stream. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll be back on probably for the late night stream. I'm pretty sure I'll be here. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.